Here is a word problem in which we have age and we have two variables. So let's see how to solve such questions. The question is, father is three times as old as his son. Five years ago, he was four times as old as his son. How old is each person now? So in this problem, let's first define our variables. What should the variables be? Father is three times as old as his son. So we are talking about two persons, father and son, and about their age. So the variable is, let father's and son's age be, we could say x and y, but I prefer to write variables which are connected. Let's say F and S, respectively. So that is how we have defined our variables, first step. Now, let's make equations using our variables. Father is three times as old as his son. That means F is equals to three times son. Simple. Father is three times as old as his son. So father is three times as old as his son. Right. So father F is equal to three times S. Five years ago, he was four times as old as his son. So it says five years ago. Now this statement you have to think. Let me write down here. It says five years ago. Now if the present age is F and S, what was the age five years ago? It was 5 less, right? So the age was F minus 5 and S minus 5. I hope you appreciate that part. This is what you have to work out. 5 years ago, father's age was F minus 5 and son's age was S minus 5. Now read again. 5 years ago, he was 4 times as old as his son. That means this was 4 times this. So we'll write another equation which is f minus 5 equals to 4 times s minus 5. Do you understand that part? Have a good look. Rewind and go through it once again. 5 years ago he was, so for f minus 5 is 5 years ago. He was 5 years younger also, right? He was 4 times as old as his son. 4 times son's age. Son was also 5 years younger, 5 years ago. So we get the second equation. So that is how you get two equations. Now once you have two variables and two equations, you can solve for the variables. Let's number these equations and decide what method to use. Since we know f is equal to 3s, we can use substitution. So substitution is a method of choice here. So what will we substitute? So this is a substitution of 1 in 2. That means the value of f from equation 1 will be substituted in equation 2 to solve further. So f is equals to 3s. So we'll write instead of f 3s. We'll say 3s minus 5 is equals to 4 times s minus 5. Now you see we have equation in one variable. So you can solve for s. Let's rearrange 3s minus 5 is equals to, let's multiply first, expand it, distribute a property, minus 20. And now we will rearrange. So we will take variables we will keep on the left side. So we have 3s minus 4s equals to minus 20 plus 5. And 3s minus 4s is minus s. And minus 20 plus 5 is minus 15. And that gives us son's age of 15, right? Dividing by minus both sides. So we get son's age of 15 from here, right? Now we need to find what is the present age of father. And we know father is 3 times son's age. So that means 3 times 15. And that means 45. So we know both son's and father's age. And we can now write down our answer. So the answer is, 
and son is 15 years old. As I said earlier, we should actually check our answers, right? And tell me, how will you check your answer? So that is an exercise which I'm leaving for you. To check the answers, 15 and 45, you can plug it in here and check whether both sides are equal or not. That is a check which you should perform before writing down your answer, right? I hope you find it correct. Thank you and all the best.